Hey, it's thanks to here. I hope everyone is staying safe at home with this coronavirus going on. Today I'm going to review the Dyson V11 Torque Drive Cordless Vacuum Cleaner since there's nothing better to do to clean the home since we're all home anyways. So let's get it started. It's just too hard to walk away and leave it like that. to mention we also got a free Dyson V11 dock it's a freestanding dock so you don't have to screw the charger into your wall so I'm gonna unbox this as well and here we go <music> So the free dock that came with the vacuum seems to be made up of three pieces. There's the stand and there's a rod, the extension, and then the part where I guess it's going to hold the actual vacuum. It's nice and white. Um, it was a little dusty, so I had to dust everything off, but it should be a simple assembly that I'm going to try to do right now. Looks like it also has a hole in here to get the charging in here and there's a piece of plastic that you can cover to make it pretty seamless and the wiring will run down this concaved hole in this rod and then we'll just plug it into the wall outlet for the charging. So this is the setup with the charger inserted. And one thing I notice is the leftover length for the charger wire is maybe about one and a half to two feet so you don't have too much wiggle room in regards to where you can put and how far you can place your freestanding dock from the electrical outlet <music> so with the dyson v11 we have the motor head um, this is the carpet cleaner or your typical cleaner for your home that you attach and there is a selection button of the height of a gate that's here located to help um, either increase the airflow into it or decrease it so that there is more of a suction between the floor and the motorhead here. This is the mini motorhead um, that they also provide in the package. And I think it's going to be really good for cleaning your car, especially like the carpets and the seats, since it does have a brush inside that's motorized to, you know, make sure it picks up the dust that it requires. And this is a typical just um, brushed, um, stiff brush. So it'll be pretty good for like a bit of a hard surface you're trying to clean out and just pick up the debris. This is the dusting tool. You can recognize it's it has a wider brush so you know it's it's better for dusting your blinds or curtains things like that this is the combination tool it has the regular the plastic end or you can convert it to just use the brush um, one thing i noticed about this one is it does get mingled with a lot of dust and hair so you know every so often you just have to make sure you remove any hair that is stuck in there and this is obviously for the tight space, the service tool. So, you know, you can make sure it's picking up the dust at the best suction um, because of the narrow opening that's in here. So as you can see, we used to have the Dyson V7, uh, I believe 
I think it was an animal or maybe complete. And I had this cordless vacuum for about five years now. So it's still working, but it's not enough to fully clean the house in one charge. Since at the time, I believe it was about 25 to 35 minutes the advertisement for the battery life was. So because I want to be I want to be able to clean the house in one swoop in single charge. This one according to the advertisement can run up to 60 minutes on eco mode and on the auto slash medium mode it can run anywhere from like 30 to 45 minutes and on the boost mode it only runs five minutes but since it is a new motor new battery there's a lot more um, cyclones that's added here we thought it's a good time for us to upgrade to the new Dyson and hopefully we'll be able to use this one for more than five years again. So comparing the two different versions of the Dyson vacuum cleaner, the V7, uh, it has the normal mode, which you toggle the switch to the left and the max mode, which you toggle to the right. And most of the times I just leave it in the regular mode and only for spot cleaning or if I need that additional suction power, that's when I would move it over to the max. With the new V11, this only applies to two versions, the oversize and the torque drive. There's an um, LCD screen in the back that's located here. So when you press it, um, I have it on eco mode and then you can toggle to the medium and you can also toggle it to the boost. And depending on which mode you're in, the duration of usage will change. And typically the medium um, is gonna be used or it's gonna state that it's a medium when you don't have the motor head, the motorized head uh, attached to it. But if you do, then it's gonna say auto mode. And what the auto mode that's relatively new to Dyson, um, what that does is it detects the floor that you're cleaning. So for carpet, which requires more suction, it will turn it into a stronger suctioning vacuum compared to when you vacuum like let's say hardwood or tile so you know it automatically adapts so my house has the carpet section and laminated flooring section and sometimes depending on how i clean i do go back and forth and instead of changing the modes the auto mode if i leave it in auto mode it will automatically change the vacuum power to choose the most efficient one that we're gonna be cleaning. So this is the V11 in real use. Um, right now I have the motorized cleaner. It's the carpet cleaner with the setting uh, in the medium setting. So the gate in the front is open uh, about halfway. So this is for the eco mode. This is for the auto mode. And this is the boost mode. This is the hard floor on eco mode. This is the hard floor on medium or auto mode. This is the hard floor on boost mode. This is the auto mode that changes the time you have left on the batteries, depending on the floor you're using. This is how you empty the Dyson V11. So this was the review of the new Dyson V11 torque drive, new for us, obviously. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. And subs and like if you liked it. And I'll see you in the next video.